Tutorial 2 Calculating Adjustments to the Standard Pattern I need to customize the standard pattern after my client's measurements. I draw a table on the writing board. There are nine columns and the number of lines corresponds with the number of required measurements. I have taken all standard measurements off my client. Bust front, under bust front, bust circumference, under bust circumference, waist circumference, stomach circumference, taken 12 centimeters below the waistline, hip circumference, taken 19 centimeters below the waistline, clip, I have taken two clip measurements for this dress, toward the neckline and toward the arm side. Bust middle, it is the distance between the supposed princess seams. Side length, blade height back. This additional measurement indicates maximum possible length of the back of the dress. So you can cover up as much as possible and at the same time avoid that annoying problem where the skin bulges over the top edge of the dress in the shoulder blade area. Column 1 contains all measurements I took off my client and column 2 all measurements taken off of the mock-up. Let us start calculating. Bust middle. My client's measurement is 18 centimeters and it is 20 centimeters on the pattern. 18 centimeters minus 20 centimeters equals negative 2 centimeters. It means I need to remove one centimeter from either side of the central front piece. I will simply shift the central front piece one centimeter inwards from the fabric fold line to make it smaller. I write negative one centimeter in line nine of column three. I also write negative one centimeter in all lines of column three that refer to circumferences and are affected by this alteration. Side length. My client's measurement is 18 centimeters and it is 20 centimeters on the pattern. 18 centimeters minus 19 centimeters equals negative one centimeter. Therefore, I need to shorten the side line by one centimeter at the top. I write negative one centimeter in line 10 of column four. Blade height back. My client's measurement is 20 centimeters and it is 18 centimeters on the pattern. 20 centimeters minus 18 centimeters equals two centimeters. It means my client's shoulder blade line is located two centimeters higher than the top edge of the back of the dress on the pattern. In other words, I cannot raise the back of the dress by more than two centimeters. But I am not planning to raise the back of this particular dress anyway. It will be straight cut and even somewhat low. This measurement has shown me everything I need to know but is not involved in any calculations. I start by determining the configuration of the side seam line on the custom pattern, taking into account all adjustments related to the center of the chest. The configuration of the side seam line on the front half of the dress is determined by two measurements, bust front and under bust front. Bust front measurement. It is 46 centimeters on the client and 50 centimeters on the pattern. But I have already adjusted it down by one centimeter from either side at the bust line level, i.e. a total of two centimeters. 50 centimeters minus two centimeters equals 48 centimeters. Therefore, 46 centimeters minus 48 centimeters equals negative two centimeters. I divide it in half for the left and the right side of the front. 
As the result, I need to narrow the front down by one centimeter from either side at the bust line level to position the side seam correctly on my client's body. I write negative one centimeter in line one of column four. Under bust front measurement. It is 40 centimeters on the client and 41 centimeters on the pattern. But I have narrowed this central front piece by one centimeter from each side at the under bust level. 41 centimeters minus two centimeters equals 39 centimeters. Therefore, 40 centimeters minus 39 centimeters equals one centimeter. I divide it in half for the left and the right side of the front. As the result, I need to narrow the front down by 0.5 centimeters from either side at the under bust level to put the side seam in place. I write 0.5 centimeters in line two of column four. Now I know the two major adjustment values which I need to analyze. Based on this analysis, I will choose a fixed value by which I will narrow or expand the standard pattern of the front. If you carefully study the measurements along the entire side seam line of the front half of the dress, you will notice that the pattern measurements are a lot bigger than the client's measurements. It is therefore logical to assume that I need to make the standard pattern smaller along all circumferences. The resulting alteration values of negative one centimeter and 0.5 centimeters tell me that it makes sense to shift the entire side seam line of the front one centimeter inwards. I write negative one centimeter into line seven of column four. Of course, all adjustment values will be more precise after I double check the configuration of the side seam line of the front half of the dress. Now the clip measurement. Clip toward the neckline. It is six centimeters on the client and 8.5 centimeters on the pattern. This part of the clip, the distance from the apex of the breast to the middle of the neckline refers to the central front piece which I am supposed to narrow down by one centimeter from either side. 8.5 centimeters minus one centimeter equals 7.5 centimeters. Therefore, six centimeters minus 7.5 centimeters equals negative 1.5 centimeters. As you can see, I need to shorten the clip toward the neckline by 1.5 centimeters. I write negative 1.5 centimeters in line eight of column four. When working on the pattern, I prefer to mark the clip at its full length with a seam allowance included rather than mark the adjusted value. Clip toward the arm's eye. It is 10 centimeters on the client and 10.5 centimeters on the pattern. 10 centimeters minus 10.5 centimeters equals negative 0.5 centimeters. I need to shorten the clip toward arm's eye by 0.5 centimeters. I write negative 0.5 centimeters in line eight of column four. Side length and blade height back measurements are not involved in these calculations. I move on to the configuration of the side seam line of the back half of the dress. First, I pre-calculate it and write all values in the side seam back column. Column six. Let us begin. I'll see what happens if I take into account all measurements and calculations already recorded in the table. The bust front and the under bust front measurements are not involved in these calculations. I write dashes in the table. 
and I move to the bust circumference. It is 86 centimeters on the client and 95 centimeters on the pattern, but I have already narrowed the center of the front by one centimeter from either side, two centimeters total, and shifted the side seam line of the front one centimeter inwards, two centimeters total. If I sum it up, it turns out that I have reduced the standard pattern by four centimeters at the bust line level. Moreover, I have already removed the same value of four centimeters along the entire length of the back. 95 centimeters minus four centimeters equals 91 centimeters. 86 centimeters minus 91 centimeters equals negative 5 centimeters. As you can see, there are 5 extra centimeters on the pattern. I need to divide them between the two sides of the back, left and right. As the result, I need to adjust down the pattern of the back by 2.5 centimeters at the bust line level. I write negative 2.5 centimeters in the table. The next measurement is the under bust circumference. 78 centimeters on the client and 82 centimeters on the pattern. 82 centimeters minus 4 centimeters equals 78 centimeters. 78 centimeters minus 78 centimeters equals zero centimeters. I have arrived at my client's measurement. It means I shouldn't shift the side seam line of the back half of the dress at the under bust level, or else I won't meet my client's measurement. I write a zero in the table. Waist circumference. My client's measurement is 68 centimeters, and it is 82 centimeters on the pattern. 82 centimeters minus 4 centimeters equals 78 centimeters. 68 centimeters minus 78 centimeters equals negative 10 centimeters. There is an excess of 10 centimeters on the pattern, and I need to distribute it between the left and the right side of the back. In other words, I need to shift either side of the back 5 centimeters inwards at the waistline level to arrive at my client's measurement. I write negative 5 centimeters in the table. Let's move to the stomach circumference. My client's measurement is 90 centimeters and it is 103 centimeters on the pattern. 103 centimeters minus 4 centimeters equals 99 centimeters. 90 centimeters minus 99 centimeters equals negative 9 centimeters. I divide the value in half. As a result, I need to shift either side of the back 4.5 centimeters inwards at the level of the stomach line, 12 centimeters below the waistline. I write negative 4.5 centimeters in the table. I reach the hip line 19 centimeters below the waistline, i.e. the hip circumference. It is 99 centimeters on the client and 109 centimeters on the pattern. 109 centimeters minus 4 centimeters equals 105 centimeters. 99 centimeters minus 105 centimeters equals negative 6 centimeters. I divide the value in half. As the result, I need to shift either side of the back 3 centimeters inwards at the level of the hip line. I write negative 3 centimeters in the table. Clip, bust middle, and blade height back are not involved in the calculations. 
the side length measurement is adjusted the same way as on the front half of the dress. After studying the measurements along the entire side seam line of the back, I have arrived at a quite logical decision to reduce the bust circumference, the waist, the stomach, and the hip circumference of the standard pattern by 2.5 centimeters each. I will use the front and the back princess seams to narrow it additionally in the waist, stomach, and hips. I write negative 2.5 centimeters in the adjusted side seam back column. Lines 3, 5, 6, and 7 of column 7. What am I supposed to do with the side seam at the under bust level? It follows from the calculations that I shouldn't touch it because I have already adjusted it after my client's measurement. If I do make the standard pattern 2.5 centimeters smaller, I will have to shift the back princess seams outwards by the same value. Applying changes to the front princess seams in the area below the waistline is strictly forbidden. In this case, I will have to shift each princess seam at the back about as much as 0.5 centimeters outwards at the under bust level. It is quite a lot. It calls for an obvious conclusion. I would shift inwards the side seam line of the back at the under bust level by a smaller value, which will be easier to compensate for by shifting outwards the princess seams at the back. Instead of 2.5 centimeters, I have decided to shift the side seam line of the back 1.5 centimeters inwards at the under bust level. I write negative 1.5 centimeters in line four of column seven. Now that I have adjusted the side seam line of the back, I need to do the same with the front to even out their edges. There is one centimeter difference between the adjustment values at the bust line level, negative 2.5 centimeters, and the under bust level, negative 1.5 centimeters. If I want to shift the entire side seam line of the front one centimeter inwards, then I need to shift it one centimeter less at the under bust level. Negative one centimeter plus one centimeter equals zero centimeters. As you can see, I don't need to shift the side seam line of the front at the under bust level. I will shift it one centimeter inwards at the level of all other circumference lines. I write negative one in the adjusted side seam front column. Lines three, five, six, and seven of column five. And a zero in line four of column five. I have already adjusted down the center of the front by one centimeter from either side, two centimeters total. And the shifted side seam lines of the front one centimeter inwards, two centimeters total and the side seam lines of the back 2.5 centimeters inwards, which makes another five centimeters. I sum up the values to find the total adjustment value. It's time to look at the changes in the princess seams. I need to double check everything to make sure I have adjusted the standard pattern correctly and met my client's measurements. If I have failed to meet my client's measurement at the level of some or another circumference line, then I will need to find a suitable value for shifting the princess seams at the corresponding level. All changes in the princess seams are written under princess seams back, column eight, and princess seams front, column nine. I write dashes in lines one and two of column nine, keeping in mind that you are not supposed to apply changes to the front princess seams in the area above the waistline. I will use the values of the adjusted side seam configuration of the front and the back. 
columns 5 and 7. I start from the bust circumference. It is 86 centimeters on the client and 95 centimeters on the pattern. Negative 2 centimeters plus negative 2 centimeters plus negative 5 centimeters equals negative 9 centimeters. I subtract this value from the pattern measurement. 95 centimeters minus 9 centimeters equals 86 centimeters. I have arrived at my client's measurement. It means I don't need to alter the back princess seam at the bust line level. I write zero in line three of column eight. Under bust circumference, it is 78 centimeters on the client and 82 centimeters on the pattern. But I have adjusted down the center of the front by one centimeter from either side, two centimeters total, and shifted the side seam lines of the back 1.5 centimeters inwards, which makes another three centimeters. I sum up the values to find the total adjustment value, negative two centimeters plus negative three centimeters equals negative five centimeters. I subtract this value from the pattern measurement. 82 centimeters minus five centimeters equals 77 centimeters. 78 centimeters minus 77 centimeters equals one centimeter. Therefore, I need to expand the pattern by one centimeter at the under bust level. I will use the princess seams of the back for this purpose. There are two princess seams, or darts, at the back of the dress, and each one is made of two raw edges of fabric sewn together. In other words, there are four raw edges on the two pieces of the back, and I will divide this one centimeter between them. 1 centimeter divided by 4 equals 0 0.25 centimeters, about 0.3 centimeters. I need to shift the princess seams of the back 0.3 centimeters outwards at the under bust level. I write 0.3 centimeters in line 4 of column 8. Waist circumference. It is 68 centimeters on the client and 82 centimeters on the pattern. But I have adjusted down the center of the front by one centimeter from either side, two centimeters total, and shifted the side seam lines of the front one centimeter inwards, two centimeters total, and the side seam lines of the back 2.5 centimeters inwards which makes another five centimeters. I sum up the values to find the total adjustment value. Negative two centimeters plus negative two centimeters plus negative five centimeters equals negative nine centimeters. I subtract this value from the pattern measurement. 82 centimeters minus nine centimeters equals 73 centimeters. 68 centimeters minus 73 centimeters equals negative 5 centimeters. Therefore, I need to narrow the waist of the pattern by 5 centimeters. I will use the front and the back princess seams for this purpose. There are two princess seams, or darts, at the front of the dress as well, and each one is made of two edges sewn together. It means there are four raw edges on the two pieces of the front and four raw edges on the two pieces of the back, which makes a total of eight raw edges. I will divide this value of negative five centimeters between them all. Negative five centimeters divided by eight equals negative 0.625 centimeters about negative 0.6 centimeters. I need to shift the front and the back princess seams 
0.6 centimeters inwards of the waistline level. I write negative 0.6 centimeters in line 5 of columns 8 and 9. Stomach circumference. It is 90 centimeters on the client and 103 centimeters on the pattern. But I have adjusted down the center of the dress by one centimeter from either side, a total of two centimeters, and shifted either side of the front one centimeter inwards, a total of two centimeters, and either side of the back. 2.5 centimeters inwards, which makes another 5 centimeters. I sum up the values to find the total adjustment value. Negative 2 centimeters plus negative 2 centimeters plus negative 5 centimeters equals negative 9 centimeters. I subtract this value from the pattern measurement. 103 centimeters minus 9 centimeters equals 94 centimeters. 90 centimeters minus 94 centimeters equals negative 4 centimeters. Therefore, I need to reduce the pattern by 4 centimeters in the stomach. I will do it with the help of the front and back princess seams by dividing the value of the negative 4 centimeters between their eight raw edges. Negative four centimeters divided by eight equals negative 0.5 centimeters. I need to shift the front and the back princess seams 0.5 centimeters inwards at the stomach level. I write negative 0.5 centimeters in line six of columns eight and nine. Hip circumference. It is 99 centimeters on the client and 109 centimeters on the pattern. The total value of pattern alteration is negative 9 centimeters. I subtract it from the pattern measurement. 109 centimeters minus 9 centimeters equals 100 centimeters. 99 centimeters minus 100 centimeters equals negative one centimeter. As the result, I need to adjust the pattern down by one centimeter in the hips. I will distribute the value between the front and the back of the princess seams. Negative one centimeter divided by eight equals negative 0.125 centimeters, about negative 0.1 centimeter. I need to shift the front and the back princess seams 0.1 centimeter inwards at the hips level. I write negative 0.1 centimeter in line 7 of columns 8 and 9. All calculations are done now and I can start customizing the pattern.